Okay, so we have our Ubuntu server here. Um, and what I want to show you guys now is how to run a Docker container in the background. Um, natively, the way Docker works is you run a container and it immediately exits, or you shell into a container, um, but it's not it's not immediately obvious how to run a container in the background, um, which is really the primary use case um, in many situations. Um, you know, if your container is housing some sort of service, uh, it needs to be up and running. So you would use, I mean, you could do it multiple ways, but the way I've done it is just running the container uh, indefinitely in the background. Um, so that's what we're going to do right now. So our container in this uh, example is that Ubuntu container. Um, so if I just do docker to list for containers, um, nine minutes ago I ran this Ubuntu container uh, and immediately exited. Um, so I didn't really do anything. I kind of just pulled the image and then ran the container. But we could also run it in the background and keep it up. And that's what I want to do. We want to keep the container running. So there's a command for that. And it is this right here. So the base command is docker run. And then the flags are EIT, uh, sorry, IT dash D. And then the container name. So in this case, it's Ubuntu. So what this is doing is it's going to run the Ubuntu container and it's just going to detach from the window and it should stand up in the background. So let's try that. It gave us back the uh, container ID. I think that's what that is. But it's also not very informative. So let's run our docker list command. This is a very useful command. Um, this docker ps negative a and let's what I'm expecting is I'm expecting it to show this entry here but I'm expecting it to show that we started a container and that the container is still running okay so this is that first entry and then this is the one we just did 30 seconds ago and it's up it's been up for 31 seconds we run the command again 42 seconds 43 seconds um, so what we have now is we have a container running in the background. Um, what's interesting to note about that is that's going to stay up until we stop it or delete it. So if I log out SSH from my Ubuntu uh, server, um, so I just SS I just uh, exited the Ubuntu server. Let's let's log back in. Right, we are back in my server. Um, that container is still going to be up and running. It's been up about a minute. And you can just leave that, leave that running. Um, and this is the best way to stand up your container as a service um, if it needs to be used um, as part of your web app.